Hello everyone, welcome to this unit of the MOOC 4 that is focused on the fundamental theoretical concepts and paradigms related to inverted educational methodologies, also known as flipped learning methodologies. Due to the rapid development of educational technologies and the increased proliferation and accessibility to various digital educational resources, flipped learning methodologies are gaining more and more importance and are being used in many educational institutions as a response to the need to modify the conventional education system in response to digital shift and the changing expectations and needs of new generations of learners. This training unit discusses the following issues, the essence and the main features of flip learning, the difference between classical and flip learning, the fundamental theoretical concepts and principles of the flip learning paradigm, the advantages and challenges related to the flipped classroom implementation. Upon the completion of this training module, the learners are anticipated to have a grasp of the essence and distinct features of flipped learning, an understanding of the key theoretical concepts that pertain to flipped learning, familiarity with the basic learning theories that are necessary for implementing flipped learning, comprehension of the primary benefits and drawbacks of implementing a flipped classroom. Over the last decades, flipped learning has evolved and grown in many ways and on many levels. In 1993, Alison King emphasized the urgent need to change the traditional educational model in her study from sage on the stage to guide on the side. According to her, this means changing the position of the teacher from being the knowing individual at the center of the class to one who guides, supports and facilitates the construction of meaning based on students' existing knowledge and experiences. Although this research does not directly illustrate the approach, it is cited and recognized as an important impetus for the emergence and subsequent development of the pedagogical approach now known as flipped learning. In 2000, the term inverted classroom was invented by Maureen Lage, Glenn Platt and Michael Trelia in relation to the idea about creating an inclusive learning environment. In 2007, this approach was first popularized in secondary education in the United States by Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams, referred to as Classroom Flip. The professionals involved in Flip Learning Network, which is a non-profit online community for educators, utilizing or interested in learning more about the flipped classroom and flipped learning practices, define flipped learning as pedagogical approach in which direct instruction moves from the group learning space to the individual learning space and the resulting group space is transformed into a dynamic, interactive learning environment where the educator guides students as they apply concepts and engage creatively in the subject matter. The International Panel of Experts in the Flip Learning Global Initiative aims to provide a modern definition of the paradigm in the context of increased global collaboration among the domain practitioners. Flip learning has been defined as a framework that allows educators to reach every student. The flipped approach reverses the traditional classroom model by introducing course concepts before class, allowing educators to use classroom time to guide each student through active, hands-on, innovative applications of course principles. Some of the main features of flipped learning that distinguish it from the traditional education models are online delivery of instructional content. Instructional content such as video lectures or readings is delivered online to students before they come to class. In-class collaboration and active learning. 
Classroom time is used for collaborative and interactive activities such as group discussions, problem solving exercises and hands-on projects. Flexibility and personalized learning. Students can learn at their own pace, re-watch videos or other materials and receive personalized feedback from the instructor. Student-centered approach. Flipped learning emphasizes the needs and interests of individual students, enabling them to take greater responsibility for their own learning. Increased engagement and motivation. By allowing students to work in groups and engage in hands-on activities during class time, flipped learning can increase student engagement and motivation. Teacher as facilitator. In the flipped classroom, the teacher acts as a facilitator or a coach, providing guidance and support to students as they work through learning activities. Assessment and evaluation. Flipped learning involves regular assignments and evaluation of student learning, which can be done through quizzes, assignments, projects, and other activities. Use of technology. Flipped learning often involves the use of technology such as online learning platforms or educational apps to deliver instructional content and facilitate collaboration and communication between students and teachers. Flipped learning and flipped classroom are terms that often are used as synonyms, but according to the experts involved in flipped learning network, they should be distinguished because they are not interchangeable. Flipped classroom is a term related to the manner of teaching, that is, the use of a blended set of pedagogical strategies and learning activities. Flipped learning is a more comprehensive concept that encompasses four key components, flipped pillars. Flexible environment. Involving the use of different learning modes and strategies by teachers to support group work and independent learning to allow students to select when and where to learn and to provide different ways for students to explore subject-related content and demonstrate their mastery and procedural fluency. Learning culture based on a learner-centered approach where in-class time is dedicated to exploring topics in greater depth and creating rich learning opportunities and where students are actively involved in knowledge construction and into an evaluation by personally meaningful processes of their learning. Intentional content is content created or curated by the educator prioritizing the concepts used in direct instruction so that learners can access it themselves. The teacher differentiates the content to make it as accessible and relevant as possible for all students, which also means integration of different instructional methods in classroom time, such as peer instruction, active learning strategies, problem-based learning, critical thinking, and etc. according to grade level and subject matter. Professional educators are crucial components of the flipped learning framework. The role of professional educator implies continuous monitoring of students by the teacher who provides feedback and evaluation of their work through observation and or recording of data relevant to the specific situation. Other responsibilities of educators relate to adapting and updating their future instruction based on data from ongoing formative assessments as well as continually improving their practice through collaboration and sharing experiences and information with other educators and experts in the field. The theoretical framework of flipped learning has the following key components. Taxonomy of educational objectives, more popular as Bloom's taxonomy, and learning theories. Bloom's taxonomy was developed to provide a way of categorizing cognitive tasks in terms of their difficulty or complexity by Benjamin Bloom in 1956. Bloom's taxonomy 
is a classification system that encompasses the cognitive, emotional and psychomotor aspects of learning. The pyramidal presentation of uh, taxonomy represents the cognitive domain at six levels, ranked from the simplest and concrete to the more complex and abstract. Since its initial publication, the taxonomy has been updated several times. In 2001, a group of specialists led by Lauren Anderson and David Crathwell revised the taxonomy, replacing the nouns used in the original version with the verbs that better reflect the active nature of the learning process. As shown in the first figure, the various tasks are ranked on Bloom's taxonomic scale according to their complexity and the types of knowledge required to perform each task. Unlike the traditional educational model, the as is shown on the second figure, in flip learning, the new material is presented to students in front of the class through educational resources consisting of targeted multimedia content so the lower levels of cognitive work according to the taxonomy are reserved for student self-instruction through structured activities, remembering and understanding. Students work on mastering the concepts in their individual learning spaces at their own pace. Class time is focused on the upper levels of the taxonomy that is, on more complex tasks that are best served by a dynamic, interactive and richly social environment in which the educator and the classmates work and collaborate. Students continue to extend their learning beyond the classroom into their learning environments, working to master and deepen their conceptual understanding through activities that involve higher levels of application and assessment of knowledge and skills. Learning theories are another essential component to the theoretical framework. They define a set of different concepts and principles related to observing, describing, explaining and guiding the learning process and everything related to it. The Jean Piaget theory of cognitive development is based on the belief that learning is a dynamic process involving successive stages of adaptation to reality, during which learners actively construct knowledge by creating and testing their own theories of the world. Learning, therefore, is unique to the individual learner. The leading role in the development of social constructivism theory was played by the Russian psychologist Lev Vygotsky. According to this theory, the learning is a process where social interaction is key to obtaining knowledge. Social constructivism defends the idea that the learning process takes place as a result of the interaction of students with their teachers and classmates. Meaningful learning is based on obtaining quality learning and understanding of concepts. The main idea is that the learners have to see that what is being learned is meaningful and relevant to their personal and life interests, which results in a natural motivation to learn. Inquiry-based learning is a method of active learning based on questions, problems or scenarios. Inquiry-based learning is a learning process that engages students by making real-world connections through exploration and high-level questioning. The main goal of inquiry-based learning is to develop valuable research skills in students and prepare them for a lifelong learning. This approach to education is also referred as problem-based learning, experimental learning and 21st century learning. According to the concept of mastery learning, students must achieve a certain level of mastery of the required knowledge before moving on to learn subsequent information. Unlike traditional education, where all students are given approximately the same amount of time to learn and the same set of instructions, mastery learning emphasizes providing sufficient time and using personalized learning strategies 
so that all students can achieve the same level of study. Mastery Learning offers individualized, asynchronous, student-centered training as well as a setting for effective correction and feedback. The main advantages of flip learning could be summarized as follows. There is a preponderance of active learning as the passive component is minimized, even eliminated from the classroom. Increased engagement with concepts and learning materials. Students may very quickly get the necessary support and feedback from teachers. Increased responsibility as students must come to class prepared. Self-directed learning capability. Students can learn at their own pace and in their own way. The materials are accessible to students, so absence due to illness, for example, does not interfere with learning the material. Possibility. Multiple learning styles to be supported. Students have the option to review course materials, building a flexible learning path with within the course material provided. Effective use of classroom time for engagement and interaction, both between teachers and students and between students themselves. A better learning experience. The flip classroom provides the educators with flexibility in teaching. They can flip not the entire course, but just one or two lessons and thus create a blended learning experience that combines elements of a traditional and flipped classroom. The real-time feedback received gives the teacher good information at an early stage about how the students understand the lessons and if and what adjustments are needed so that the students can understand these lessons better. Video content already created can be used repeatedly by educators. Additionally, teachers could work collaboratively to create student-centered digital educational resources. Despite the advantages discussed above, there are several challenges outlined by the critics of this methodology. Technology plays a crucial role, especially in delivering lessons to students in the flipped classroom. In some areas, access to technology is not as reliable as in other places, greatly hindering the adoption of the flipped classroom model. Successful implementation of flipped learning demands high levels of self-discipline. There is a risk that students may be careless and not watch the video lectures at home beforehand. Digital content aimed at students should be high quality, comprehensive, inspiring and engaging, which means that a lot of resources and the right digital infrastructure are needed to develop, deliver and maintain it. Students may lose interest in the subject if the content is boring and lacks clarity. A flipped class requires much more time to plan and create content than a traditional class. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy your learning.